Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Yaraya Sharala from the GMS camp, Italia. And I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. And I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth, and also for ruling well. And I would like to send my peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this truth in these last days, and also to the few aquats that are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. Um, the title of this lesson is going to be, um, well, I'm not really sure of the title, but it's going to be based on color. The color of your skin doesn't determine if you're Israelite. Okay, the color of your skin doesn't really determine if you're an Israelite. So as you can see, the image that you have on the screen, you know, so this is just a, a, a kind of illustration to give you. This is the father, you know, the father is a dark skinned Israelite, you know, the wife is an Edomite. And the child that comes out from them, even if the child looks like the mother, even if the child is a dark skin like the mother, uh, is a light skin, sorry, is a light skin like the mother and looks like an Edomite, that child remains an Israelite. And this is this is something um, many Israelite camps and many people outside the Great Millstone, you know, they get it wrong. Many of them are still expecting that all Israelites are going to look dark skin like this. But remember, Israel has been spread around the four corners of the earth and what they do is they mix their seed always with the different nations that they go that they go you know so israel have been carried away slaves into different parts of the nations for many years you know and we've also by our own will you know um how should i put it what you know um gone into different nations you know, due to pol political reasons. For example, in 70 AD, when the Romans came down to Jerusalem to destroy Jerusalem, okay, by the command of the Emperor Titus, and it was actually led by uh, Israelites. This, um, this expedition to destroy Jerusalem was actually led by Israelites of the name Alexander Tiberius, you know. He was a Hebrew, but he was born into the Roman kingdom. He was born by Hebrew parents, you know, so he grew up and he fell much more in love with the with the with the with the ways of the Romans and he abolished he abolished um the gods of his father, you know, and he went with the Romans. So he was he, he was part of the people. He was actually the one who led the campaign into Israel to destroy Israel. And so what happened was many Israelites fled into Europe and many Israelites also fled into um, Africa as we know it today, you know. But the land used to be called the land of Ethiopia. The whole land of Africa used to be known as Ethiopia until it was named after an Italian man called Leo Scipio Africanus, okay. That's where the name Africa comes from, okay. So what happened is, you know, Israelites, they've spread into different parts of the world, you know, due, due to different different reasons. And an example of that we can find in the book of um in the book of Ezra 9 1. So this is the book of um Ezra chapter 9. And if you read from verse 1, it tells you now. These things were done. The princes came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the land, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Etites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites, for they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the land of the princes and rulers had been chief in this trespass. Okay, so this is just an example. Um, 
what actually happened here is um the 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 children of Israel were granted you know a permit by the king of um Babylon to go back to build um the temple and um Ezra Ezra who was a who was a scribe and a prophet of the Most High Yahweh you know they actually came back and found that the Israelites actually that went back with them most of them have mixed with the seeds of the different countries where they've been carried away captive captives and where they've been so joining you know so this is exactly the same thing that you can see for example here this is an israelite man a jake you know married to an edomite and their child comes out looking like an edomite but this child carries the seed of the father she's an she's an israelite and that's we can prove with different with different um scriptures of um scriptures um that's the the um the child is the seed of the father and one of those scriptures you can find in the book of numbers um why am i writing it like this sorry you can find in the book of numbers chapter one and verse 18 which here you can see, and they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month. They declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the numbers of their name from 20 years old and upward by their poles. But you can see by the house of their fathers, you know, here it's not written by the house of their mothers. And there are many other scriptures, but we're not going to go into that, you know. So this is just... To show you that you are actually the seed of your fathers. And what the scriptures actually say, you know, the promise is given to the seed of Jacob, you know. It's not saying the seed of, um, it's not saying the seed of um, whatever. It's the seed of Jacob, you know. So the father carries the seed, you know. Even scientifically, it makes more sense. It's the father that carries the seed. So you are what your father is. You are the child of your father, okay. So having said this, um, having said this, I'm going to read from the book of um, from the book of um Romans. Sorry, because what actually happens is you know most of these Israelites, most of these Israelite camps out there, you know, they actually deal with the with the flesh. They don't they don't walk by the spirit. And this truth, you have to walk by the Spirit, you know. You have to walk by the Spirit. You can't walk by the flesh and, you know, determine certain things by the flesh. It's not done. The Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is a spirit in which you have to serve Him in, in spirit. You can't serve Him in, in, in the kernel of flesh, you know. So it is actually the Spirit that determines whether you're an Israelite or not. There are many Israelites who are looking like the different nations they've been spread into, you know? There are many Israelites who are looking like this, you know? So you can't you can't look at someone and, you know, for the color of their skin, you know, tell them that they are not Israelites. It's not done, you know? And mind you, let me put you an example here. If you have, for example, this, um, something like um, the contrary, for example, the, the, the father is actually an Edomite, and the mother is a Israelite, and the child comes out looking like the father who is a Ed, um, um the child comes out dark skin, you know, but the father is a Edomite, you know. That child is a Edomite. It doesn't matter if the child looks dark skin. So you have many dark skinned people, you know, who are actually of the seed of the Edomites, you know. So this is actually the confusion of faces, you know, said in the book of Daniel. So now we can go. And read from the book of um Romans because what I want to show you here it's the spirit that determines it's not your canal look or the color of the skin. So it's found in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 16, which says, The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirits that we are the children of Yahweh, the children of power. Okay. So you see, it's the spirit that actually bears weakness. It's the spirit that determines. And as you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have always taught us, you know, the different 
um, characteristics of, uh, of a Israelite, you know, they are actually the salt of the earth. The Israelites have a different kind of, you know, flavor. Whatever they do, they're different, you know, they have the kind of um, swag or how should I put it? They have a style, you know, so you always know that Israelites are different. And here, this is my brother right here. My brother here from the, from the, from the, from the GMS camp. And, you know, I'm grateful to the Most High, Yehaw Ba'ashem, Yehaw Shai, you know, because this brother, I know this brother, I know his family. And, you know, I was, I, I was an instrument in the hand of the Most High, Yehaw Ba'ashem, Yehaw Shai, for bringing my brother into the truth. And this is just an example of, a, of, of an Israelite who was born into a different nation, you know, who is seed of, you know, looked just like the people of those nation. His family, his mother and his father, they look, they look like, they look like, they look like Edomites, you know, they look like Edomites, but it is a spirit that determines that this brother is a Jake. And this brother actually going deep into his history, you know, we found out that he actually is a seed of, you know, the so-called Moors, you know, the so-called Moors of Europe, you know, so this Moors. If you don't know the story of this Moors, this is the etymology of Moor, you know. Well, I'm not really going to go deep into this. You see, you can it tell you that being a dark, a dark people, you know, in relations to the Europeans, you know, their um their names in the Middle Ages as a synonym for Negro, you know. So these Moors actually we know that they are not who they are trying to let us think that they are. These were actually the sons of Israel who actually went down into Europe. They conquered Europe, you know. They conquered, let's say, all parts of Europe, you know. And what happened? They started mixing their seeds with the seeds of um, the Edomites that were in those lands, you know. And, you know, from time going to time. For example, just imagine an uh, Israelite. Um, let's go back to the image we had earlier. Um, okay, just imagine this image, a Israelite having a child like this, you know, and this child, let's just put, for instance, that this child is a male, okay, and this male gets married to another Edomite, you know, and they have a child that comes out even more lighter in complexion than this, that looks exactly like an Edomite, you know, and that child is a is a Israelite, bear in mind. And that child goes on and marries another Edomite. That child is a Israelite, you know? And these are the Israelites that the Apostle Paul actually came to, to preach for. These are the lost sheep of the house of Yasharala, you know? So this is the same hypocrisy that was happening to the apostles back in those days, um, to the Jews back in those days, who were actually expecting all Israelites to look dark skin like them but they have forgotten that many israelites are being spread in all parts of the world and most of them they look like the people of other nations now let's watch this video and i'll conclude this lesson you know um i still had some um some scriptures but it's okay like this um well let's watch this video then i'll get the scriptures so this is my brother as i told you of the gms camp italy and this brother is a straight Jake, you know, but he looks like an Edomite, but this is a straight Jake. Shalom, shalom. Siamo qui oggi per portare la verità nelle piazze d'Italia. Sono qua oggi con la mia tunica, la Sacra Bibbia, le, le insegne della verità e soprattutto sono qua oggi con lo spirito lo spirito di Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Kalalal, la Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakdash. Kal, Allah Hayam, la Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakdash. Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh. Rakta Yahawashai Bashem Kakdash. 
Diamo i doppi onori agli anziani apostoli della Great Mewstone, della GMS, gli anziani apostoli di Israele, di Yasharala, Shalom. Saluto tutti gli eletti della Casa di Israele, tutti coloro che si impegnano nel portare questa verità nei quattro punti della terra. Shalom e Barakatam a tutti gli Akiam. E qui sono oggi qua nelle strade d'Italia, nella piazza qua in Italia a portare la verità così come è scritto nelle scritture che negli ultimi tempi la verità sarà conosciuta in tutto il mondo. E io sono stato mosso dallo spirito che il padre nel nome di Yahweh Shai mi ha dato la forza di venire qua e di venire a raccontare la verità, la verità in questo mondo che siamo stati ingannati, siamo stati ingannati sul principio e siamo stati ingannati sul presente. Ok, that's the brother right there, you see, this is a, this is a Israelites, you know, it looks like people of other nation, it looks like a Hedomite, but this is a straight Jake uh, and it's the spirit that tells, you know. So to those who are still, you know, to those who are still, um, who are still in darkness, who are not walking in the spirits, expecting that all Jakes must look like a Negro, you know. But remember, there are many, even here in Italy, I can tell you, there are lots of, you know, people, they look like they are Negroes. They look like straight niggers, you know, but these people are Edomites. Their mother could be Jake and their father is Edomite and they just have this dark skin and look like Jake. But these people are Edomites, you know. So it's not the color of the skin that really matters who you are, you know. So it's the spirit that, that, that tells, you know, as we read from the book of um, Romans here, chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of power, Yah Yahweh. Okay, so let's quickly get the book of Joel, chapter 3. And I'm going to tell you, okay, for behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So Judah, Judah, as we know, it's talking about the um the northern part, is it the southern part of um of um of um Israel, you know, um, I'm not really sure about that now. I don't, I, I don't want to say something that is going to, you know, go wrong. Someone can correct me even in the, in the um in the comment section. But I know Judah is um Judah, the sons of Judah, which are actually the three tribes. That's this um the sons of Judah, the Levi and Benjamin. You know, they were left alone in Jerusalem. Okay. So I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shaphat and will plead with them death for my people and for my heritage, Yasharala, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my lands. So you can see the sons of Israel are scattered amongst the nations. And you see those who are occupying the land right now, calling themselves Israelites, just like the book of um, Revelations chapter 1 is telling you, I know thy, just paraphrasing, I know thy um, tribulations and thy poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the abomination of those who call themselves um, Israelites, but they are of the synagogue of Satan. You know, this is just the confusion the sons of the wicked have done, you know. And these people are actually, um, they go back to the line of the Amalekites, okay. So, well, it's just to just put a little, a little, to add a little to this topic of um, Israelites that have to always, you know, that necessarily have to look like, um, like Negroes, you know. So it's not really the color that counts, you know. And remember, also, within the dark, dark nations, you have those of the Africans, which are of the line of Ham. They are the sons of Ham. They are also dark skinned. Some of them might look like Jake, but these people are not Jakes, you know. So this, um, this um, Israelite camps that are, you know, teaching this folly, they, they have to come out. If they don't come out and they don't still get this point at this time, it means that they are not part of the elect of this house of Yasharala. It means they are not chosen to have this truth, you know. 
And we, we are only hoping and praying to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, doing our best in keeping his commandments and his statutes, you know, to be counted worthy, you know, of partaking of his new kingdom and also to be called part of his elects, you know. This is what we do every day, you know. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, willing, we are going to be part of his elect, you know. So these people that are coming with this folly and madness, you know, saying that the whole Israelites have to look like a, like a neg like a negro, you know, these people they really need to evaluate themselves again and think well and pray to the Most High to to have mercy on them to open their eyes and see that color has nothing to do with this Israelite thing. Okay, having said this, I hope someone is being edified today. And if you want to subscribe to my brother's channel, you know, um, or if you want to watch the rest of this video, um, these are the videos I posted before this one. So you can just go to that video. And if you click on the video, you can see the link to his channel. And, you know, we can just, you know, subscribe to it. It would be nice. And having said this, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth and also for ruling well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Yasharala. On to the next one. Shalawam.